So I'm going to be teaching little baby about quantum entanglement. Yeah. Do you know what an entanglement is? Have you heard of that word before? Where have you heard of that word before? Mm-hmm. Yes. It was in reference to a very popular celebrity marriage that honestly ended years ago but they continued the facade for years afterwards until one of them had a little public entanglement the other one had a very public entanglement as well with his uh crappy superhero movie co-star margot robbie which was photographed between the two of them and he was constantly chronically stepping out on the marriage on the open terms or whatever but where there's a will there's a way and like biblically speaking most men he let her fall for the whole you know rap of it and now she's taking the full blame for the marriage dissolving when i myself would also be tired of his nonsense if i was being accused of ruining my marriage that my husband actually was the one who ruined by cheating on me multiple times until I ended up reminiscing and romanticizing a relationship with a man that, uh, you know, had his, met his demise, you could say, a very long time ago. Anyways, it's, it's too pocked to really untangle. It's, it's just like, it's too much to cover, basically. So let's begin by learning about quantum entanglement. This is a ball. A ball. Here's a ball. Two red balls, two blue balls. This is two blue balls, two red balls. <clears throat> we pick two balls of the same color and hide them in boxes. So we're gonna take two balls of the same color and we're gonna put them into boxes. Here are the boxes, right here. We're gonna put the balls in the boxes. One box for Alice, here's Alice, and she gets a box. And one box for Bob. Bob gets a box, Bob's box. Oh, and the balls are still inside of these two boxes. So we have balls inside of boxes that are given now to Alice and Bob. Alice does not know what is in her box. What's in the box? She doesn't know what's in the box. It could be a red ball or a blue ball, but she does not know which one is in it. And Bob does not know what is in his box. It could be a red ball. It could be a blue ball. It could be Gwyneth Paltrow's head. I said a red ball or a blue ball could be inside of Bob's box. They always have the same color when they open their boxes. So, if they open their boxes, they're always going to have the same color. So, if Alice thinks blue and Bob thinks red, in this case, Bob is correct. If it's blue balls and Alice thinks blue and Bob thinks red, then in that case, Alice is correct. But, it's the same color. It, they're not going to be different answers. Alice and Bob do not know what is in each box. Neither of them know what's in each box. They do not know. <clears throat> we have established this pretty well. We, we, you and me, we put the balls in the boxes for Alice and Bob so we always know what color is in each box. <gasps> We know what color is in the box. I think it was red, wasn't it? Or Yeah, I think it was red, wasn't it? Or blue. What's in the box? It was red. Okay. I was right. It was red. We were right. It was red. I was right. So we always know what color is in each box. So we know that there's red balls in their boxes, but they don't know. This is a ball. 
we've returned to phase one. This is a ball. We're about to build on this idea. It's kind of like a pyramid, where when you have to like build on the original idea, depending on how far back you have to go in order to build out that idea, you kind of scale your way backwards. So this apparently is giving me the idea that we're going to scale all the way back, make a little foundation here, along the foundation of knowledge we've already created here, make this one huge connected foundation of information that somehow connects to one another, and then keep building a bigger and bigger idea from that. That's why school sucks. They don't give you good foundations for education. They just slap little patches of knowledge at you and expect you to just memorize it, as opposed to understanding the connections and how they interrelate to one another. They do it on purpose. All balls are made of atoms. So all balls are made of atoms. We're all made of atoms. Adam and Eve. Atoms. Atoms. All atoms are made of particles. All atoms are made of particles. As in, all atoms are made of parts. Ickles. Things start to make sense when you make them make sense. In quantum physics, particles can be entangled. Ah, <gasps> Jada? In quantum physics, particles, particles can be entangled. So within an atom, those particles can be entangled. Entangled particles share a special bond, a trauma bond. It's when you're attached to someone that is unhealthy for you, but it's like you're now unwell emotionally, psychologically, even physically that the idea of parting away from that which makes you sick makes you feel like you don't know who you are anymore because your sickness now has become who you are and it feels like death having to having to heal yourself because you don't know if you'll survive survive so that's what the particles are going through inside of the atom inside of the ball which is inside of the box which is for Alice and Bob when a shh, I will hulk smash my way to you. I will cool a man my way through you. When one particle is, I will, I will, I will end you. When one particle is measured to be red, the other will be red. When one particle is red, the other one will be red. 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 The blood of angry men, white. Da -da 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 -da. I get distracted easily. I apologize. It's a lack of discipline. Mental discipline. When one particle is measured to be blue, the other will be blue. So, when one particle is measured to be blue, the other one will be blue. We put two entangled particles into two boxes. So these boxes have a trauma bonded particles being inserted into the boxes. One box for Alice and then one box for Bob. Their boxes are attached to one another through this entanglement. Alice and Bob do not know what color they will find. They still don't know. We resumed back to the confusion. We resumed back to the mystery. But we still don't know what color's inside of their box. I mean, we know, but they don't know dramatic irony. They always have the same color when they open their boxes. So they're always going to have the same color when they open their boxes. We've established this. But this time, we do not know what color they will find either. In fact, no one knows. Because <gasps> of the quantum entanglement. It's so volatile. That's kind of like the trademark of unhealthy people, unpredictability, and a lack of consistency. Hmm. So they don't know what to expect from this entanglement. It is as if the particles decide what color they will be the moment they are measured. So whenever they just feel like it, they'll show you their true colors whenever they feel like it. 
these are really toxic particles this is like really annoying i don't know like if i had any entangled particles inside of my body i'd be like hey yo god take these out of me this is like ill annoying how do i fix this i'll do it myself just give me the cheat sheets this is true no matter how far apart they are and nobody knows why oh and now you know quantum entanglement. So Alice and Bob just never figured out what color there was in their boxes. So what did we learn today, little baby? Yeah. Yeah, many life lessons learned today while learning about quantum entanglement. It's very, very poetic.